Hello No Man's Sky, it's your friend the Traveler signing in. Welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to see you here again. Today marks my 100th video where I'll be celebrating the channel by recapping my top 5 greatest finds of the year, just in case you missed them. I'll be showcasing an amazing multi-tool with side-by-side -side touching supercharged slots, a beautiful ship that's sure to turn heads, and three rare and exotic planets all with coordinates. So switch off that multiplayer if you're going for the ship or multi-tool to avoid bumping into other travelers who may be after the same ship or ray gun as yourself. Alright travelers, without further ado, let's begin the show. At number 5 today we have a grey rifle style multi-tool with white accents, perfect for beginners that want to easily grab a decent weapon with an amazing supercharged slot layout. This weapon is available at the space station shelf, just follow the coordinates and nab this pew pew in the starter galaxy known as Euclid. Before entering the system, make sure your multiplayer is completely turned off, or someone who is already there looking for the same weapon could have just taken it and it will not show up for you. Let's have a look at its damage potential. I'm using X mods, available at any pirate station. If you're not opposed to duplication, then head on over to a pirate system and get one Scatter Blaster X mod. As a side note, if that mod does not show up, find another pirate system until you find one selling it and duplicate it as many times as it takes to roll the highest stats. Once you have the highest stat, install it. Then press triangle on the mod if you're on PlayStation or Y if you're on the Xbox to package the mod not sure which key it is on the PC. After it's packaged, duplicate it until you have three of the packaged mod. That way when you install the mod, you'll have three identical mods, all with the same high stats. That way you won't be stuck re-rolling all day. Whatever plans remain, sell them for nanites, and acquire as many nanites as you need. I have around 6 million, all from duplicating plans and selling them back from the vendor I acquired them from. Number 4 today will surely turn heads after you acquire this amazing white and gold solar ship with a grouper body, verta tipped razor wings and an amazing set of light blue hex sails with a pretty decent supercharged slot layout. Grab this beauty anytime in the Euclid Galaxy, just input the glyphs at your Euclid portal and make sure your multiplayer is switched off. Welcome to Lexius Alpha, our number 3 find of the year which I discovered just over 3 months ago now, in the 250th galaxy known as Nepetzasperu. 
this planet comes equipped with a beautiful view around every corner. Its terrain is covered with glowing fluorescent white grass, crystal clear blue skies, glowing flora, a full array of fauna, and mild to temperate weather, so no storms. The only hitch to this planet is the fact that it's covered in sentinel activity. It is a sentinel heavy world where the sentinels will attack you if they find you. So make sure to activate your sentinel map to find that pillar or just deactivate the lot of them by starting a battle and finishing it. Enjoy this gem of a planet at your convenience. Welcome to New Meridian, our number two planetary find of 2023. A beautiful overgrown moon with glowing fluorescent off-white grass and patches of lilac, a creamy orange sky with glowing flora, an abundant array of fauna to discover with dangerously hot foggy storms, so bring your umbrella. The sentinels here will not attack you on sight, but are enforcing. Head on over whenever you like, drop a base computer down, and join the ever-growing community of travelers already here. The more, the merrier. All right, travelers, my number one find of 2023 are these two beautiful merged planets found in the Euclid galaxy. 
One, a gorgeous flourishing planet, and the other a grassy planet I found just over five months ago in January now. Both come with lethal humidity outbreaks, so bring that stormy weather gear and prepare to have your minds blown, as typical physics don't apply here. Once you land close to the merge, you'll find your parking job to be a bit strange to say the least. You might even fall upwards or downwards depending on where you land. Both planets have a wonderful selection of fauna and flora to discover with very limited sentinels. You probably won't even see one. Here you can also jump from one planet to the next. So, if you haven't tried that out before, it's hilariously fun. Just input the previous glyphs or the upcoming ones at the end of the showcase at your local Euclid portal to enjoy these two awesome merged planets. Well, travelers, that about wraps up today's 100th episode. Thank you so much for celebrating the channel with me by tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed my all-time best finds of the year. And if you did and want to see me keep searching and bringing you more of them right to your screen at home, consider supporting the channel by subscribing and smashing that like button. Also, I'd love to know which of these discoveries you plan to nab or visit. Just let me know in the comments. As always, have yourself a positive day. Know that you're valuable and that you matter. This is your friend The Traveler, signing out. Smash that like button, subscribe, and tickle the little bell icon.